Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about how to generate a pedulium pulse in MATLAB. So pedulium pulse is nothing but pulse with modulation technique. So how we are going to generate pulse for controlling the converter. Okay. So for that we go to MATLAB and open that uh, this window matlab window okay working into and then click this one so this is nothing but a simling library browser so before going going to this simling library browser so first we need to see the concept of a pedulium okay that mean uh, for in order to generate the pulse so we can generate uh, by comparing the the triangular wave okay triangle wave going to be compared with some DC gain then we can generate the pulse ok so this is a basic concept and also we can use instead of triangle wave we can use uh, sort of wave form and then sort of wave form going to be compared with some DC gain and then we can uh, generate the pedulium pulse ok so how we can use uh, that concept in the MATLAB so for that you go to simscape and then go to power system and go to specialist technology and then go to fundamental blocks and control and measurements ok so here you can see here right uh, pulse and signal generator ok you click this one so here you can see that the triangular generator okay so just you take the triangular generator here and then you can open the triangular generator so here you can fix the frequency for the tri triangular uh, generator and then uh, phase angle for the triangular right so how much degree it going to be uh, displaced right and then here you can fix the sample time and then that uh, triangular wave is uh, having the maximum and the minimum amplitude is plus one minus one okay and then i'm going to use another block nothing but a constant block so constant nothing but uh, providing the dc gain or duty cycle okay so here we are considered as a, a duty cycle so here i'm going to fix one that mean <coughs> here you can consider when we are going to provide constant value equal to 1 means nothing but 100% is duty cycle minus 1 means we are providing 0% duty cycle when you are going to provide 0 means we are providing 50% duty cycle so when you have to take the the triangular wave okay so here i am going to type another thing nothing but relational operator just you have to type relational operator and then you have to connect this one so the duty cycle is connected here and then the triangle generator connected here and then you can see the operator right you can use any kind of operator as per your uh, uh, converter control logic okay so here i'm going to use greater than or equal to okay so when the triangular wave is greater than that duty cycle value then it will be going for positive that means output will be one for remaining condition output will be zero okay and then i'm going to use scope in order to see the result so here i'm going to use scope and then i'm going to type number of scope will be two and then i'm going to take two layouts and then here i'm going to change the style of the scope not to see the result clearly so here i'm going to provide uh, the input details nothing but the first scope right i'm going to provide the detail of inputs that mean one is duty cycle another one is triangular wave and then second will be the output of that relational operator nothing but pulse okay and here i'm going to make the 
switching frequency so here i am going to make the switching frequency equal to 1 hertz okay for for simplification and then seeing the results okay so here i am going to simulate okay so now you can see that the when the duty cycle is 100 percentage so there is no pulse that no output will be always equal to 1 okay so here i'm going to change the duty that means the duty cycle equal to around 0 0.5 okay now you can see the results so now you can see that the pulse will be generated okay so here you will see that right so logic will be uh, here you can see that so this is the first input this is the second input so when that uh, triangular waves go above right is greater than right then output will be equal to zero when the value of triangle is less than that uh, duty cycle output will be one okay so whenever the duty cycle having highest value so that time it will be create the pulse so whenever duty cycle is less than the amplitude of a triangle it will be generated a uh, zero pulse okay so when you have to adjust this value right for example i'm going to make zero zero means 50 percentage because of triangular wave so here you can see that you will get a equal pulse width right so here i'm going to change the line right here you can see that you will get the equal pulse width okay so now i am going to change to minus 0 0.5 so now you can see that so on time is very less and off time will be very high according to the duty cycle when the duty cycle is less than 0.5 that means less than 50 percentage right so this is case of a, a triangular wave right so next i am going to use uh, sawtooth waveform here again i am going to use sawtooth so when we are going to use sawtooth right so here also the same concept here they are having the amplitude minus 2 plus okay so here i am going to use same thing and then i am going to submit the model so before that i am going to check the frequency is 1 hertz and then i am going to simulate now you can see that so this is a waveform for a sawtooth waveform okay that means uh, pulse period will be generated by using sawtooth waveform if suppose you are going to make uh, uh, that so here i am going to make there is no negative cycle for a sawtooth okay then you can see here right here i am going to use uh, minus 0.5 so here i'm using minus 0.5 so let me check the result so this will output will be zero because the amplitude of that uh, uh, that triangular wave right triangular at certain waveform is having only positive amplitude so that's why when we are putting minus 0.5 we are not getting results so output will be zero so here i'm going to make i'm going to use 0.25 here and then I am going to check the result of the periodic pulse. So now we can see that so it is having 25 percentage of the duty cycle. So next I am going to make so 50 percentage, so not 50, 0 0.5. And then here you can see that right. So it is having 50 percentage duty cycle. But here you can see that the duty cycle should be in between 0 to 1 only. Okay. So when we are going to use only positive amplitude triangular as to the form. So next time I am going to make uh, phase degree will be 0, you will see the result, okay. So this is the result of the period impulse, okay. So by using this concept we can generate the pulse for a DC DC converter. So thanks for watching our videos, kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about 
upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye